Today we're going to talk about how to set up a Google Reader account. Let's get started. Go to http colon forward slash forward slash www.google.com At the top right you should see a link called sign in. If you already have a Google account you may sign in now but we'll walk through the process of setting up a new account. Click Create an Account Now. Fill in your current email address and select a password. Select your country and type in the word verification letters. Note, your letters will most likely be different than the ones you see on this video, so be sure to type in the characters you see on your screen. Sometimes they're a little bit difficult to see, so hopefully I copied them correctly. Once you um, agree to the terms of service by clicking the I accept button, you'll be sent an email to activate your account. Please pause the video and return once you've followed the steps in the verification email. Once you click on the link in the verification email, which is right here, your account will be active. Let's return to Google and sign in with the new account. I'm just going to close my Outlook program here so that uh, it doesn't ding at us while I'm recording this video. So let's head back to the Google main screen. Okay, we're going to click sign in. We're going to fill in our username, which is the email you use to subscribe. And as you can see, because I just activated this account, the email is already filled in for me and my password. And you click the signing button. The screen will refresh and you will see the Google search screen. Your Google account is now ready for use. Let's set up your Google Reader. The fastest way to set up your reader is to visit a website or blog that has an RSS syndication button which includes Google Reader. So let's surf on over to http colon forward slash forward slash www.myvirtualpartner.com forward slash blog. So that's www dot myvirtualpartner.com forward slash blog. Scroll down until you see the subscribe me navigation menu on the right hand side. And there it is. You're going to look for a button called add to Google. Look for it and click on it. You'll be brought to a page where you can choose to add the feed to your Google home page or your Google Reader. Select Add to Google Reader. A few different pop-up windows may appear. Just click Continue or Dismiss. You will now see Prof Par Partner for Profits listed in the left-hand navigation menu and the most recent post in the window in the center of your screen. The feed should replicate what is currently available on the main blog, but without the frame of the blog interface. You can also add the feed for the blogs that do not have an Add Google button. Let's head over to www.frederickpatinode.com forward slash blog. That's www.frederickpatinode.com forward slash blog. Scroll down until you see the syndicate navigation menu. 
There it is. Select RSS feed. A new window will open with the RSS feed, which again is simply the text or content of the blog removed from the blog framework, which is what the blog looks like. We're going to copy the address that's in the URL bar and then switch back to Google Reader. In the left-hand navigation pane, you'll see a green area called Add Subscription. Click on the link and paste the URL for the feed into the input box and then click Add. The screen will refresh and you will now see Frederick Patineau Talks in the navigation pane and the most recent post on the screen. Switching between the two feeds is as easy as clicking on the name of the blog feed in the left-hand navigation menu and reading each of the posts that are available on the blog is as easy as scrolling down on the navigation menu and reading the posts that are of interest to you. Google Reader also has a Discover feature which can be used to introduce you to blogs that you may not discover on your own. They've compiled a few feed bundles to get you started or you can search and browse for feeds based on keywords. For example, let's click on Discover. Now these are the feeds that they've already pre-populated for you. There are some news feeds, some sports feeds, some fun feeds. There's more different bundles. The feature that I like to use is called Search and Browse. So let's type in the keyword vegan. and click search for feeds. Here you'll find the feeds for a few different blogs. Adding them to your reader is as easy as clicking subscribe. Using Google Reader allows you to browse through several different websites all from one location. No need to bookmark or remember several different URLs and spend time surfing between them. Simply log into your Google account and access your Google Reader and you'll be able to read the latest updates quickly and easily. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask.